All right, well, look, you know who else is in court? And I just can't stop talking about it because it's all over our social media at Hollywood Unlocked. Black China versus the whole Kardashians. Now, the Klan, and I'm not referring to the Ku Klux Klan, I'm referring to the other white girls from Calabasas, the Kardashians were in court, and they're now saying that they want the case against uh, them dismissed. And Corey Gamble is saying that he saw Black China attack Rob. Now, Black China filed a $140 million defamation lawsuit, and it's on its way to a victory or not. Well, we don't know how that's going to pan out, but what we do know is that the Kardashians and the whole gender squad have been pulling up to court. Now, she's accusing them of domestic violence. Uh, and canceling her e-show, Rob in China. Last week, we learned of text messages that Chris Jenner was telling execs to pull her uh, show and also text Rob saying, ditch the bitch. Now, regardless of all that's true or not, uh, we also have now learned that Chloe was emailing e-executives about quitting the family show if they gave China a second season. Now, uh, Kim has come out and said that it's, you know, she didn't say that because if it was done on her show, she had the control and she would have been able to do it. But people are saying that China's the problem, at least the Kardashians are. Chloe said that China's, quote, chaotic and violent behavior would damage the family's empire and that she didn't want to participate in such tox toxicity. Now, I have to tell you, when Chloe went into the family by way, I'm sorry, when China, Angela White, went into the family by way of dating Rob to have that baby dream because Rob's sister Kylie had slept with Tyga when she was a minor, allegedly. And uh, when she went in there and brought in Tokyo Tony and they were doing a scene together, did we not look at that and say, this is turning into love and hip hop? We, we saw that. We, we said we, no, we, there was no way we saw China and Tokyo Tony going into the Kardashian show and thinking that that was going to be the same way we've been keeping up for years. So we knew it was a different show, but they also knew. And it was great for their business to have this entanglement between China and Rob and then Tyga and Kylie. It was great storylines for all of them. But now that this is coming out, you know, and Kim saying that, you know, uh, they would never go into a, quote, toxic work environment, that China could never be on the family show. Well, anyway, this is going down in court. Now, people are saying that the Kardashians are getting preferential treatment. Can't believe that. And that China <laughs> may or may not prevail. When you look at this playing out, damage besides the kids, what are you thinking about? Um, it's just so funny when they say toxic and chaotic, because if I'm not mistaken, they were friends with China before, right? Before all this happened, before the babies, for all that, they were friends, right? Was it toxic and chaotic then? Why could you have a toxic and chaotic friend off camera, out of the media, but now that she's, you know, closer, or if she's closer, why is it now toxic and chaotic? Was she always looked at it that way? So it seemed like convenient words for the situation. Um, I do hope that if they canceled her show, that there is some justice to be served. You know, and then two things can be true. Did Black China maybe, you know, put a little whooping on Rob? Yeah, maybe. I don't well, know. You know what? When you know, there, We don't you know. know. Gamble, Chris's boyfriend is saying that China put a gun to Rob's head and choked him with a phone cord. Well, check this out. You know, like, you know, when you're in passion and you're in love with people, they play around a little rough. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it was Ari that said that on social media. She like, she's like, I like when a guy pull a gun on me. Like, some people do that in the in the passion of love. And China says she was just playing. I don't want nobody putting no gun on me. Don't choke me. But I don't know how she plays around. Like I said, she was a friend of the family for a long time. So for me, it's just kind of funny that now the narrative has changed about her personality after the fact. That's all I'm going to say. Well, well, the other thing is that it's clear that her public narrative is changing because there's so much tea being spilled from the courthouse. And we all know that the Kardashians, you know, for what everybody has said, including me, control the media and have a lot of influence in, you know, dropping stories or whatever. But uh, I almost feel like every single time there's an update in the court, it hits the streets like this one. Corey Gamble said when he entered the room, China had a three foot rod and then dropped it and grabbed the court and started whipping it at Rob. You know, uh, he said, Ooh. Corey said, quote, I got in the middle and got hit too. I had to try to get her attention on me so Rob could get his belongings and get out of the house. I could smell the alcohol on her. Now, um, I don't know, you know, is Corey going to say whatever Chris wants him to say because that's his bread and butter or that's his position? I mean, Corey has his own money and he does his own thing. But, you know, clearly he's elevated from Justin Bieber's assistant to now you know, the 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 patriarch of the Kardashian Jenner household. They got a black daddy now. 
Well, <laughs> no, no, he has another black daddy. Either way, you know, he's in there. Now, after this week's testimonies, the Carr Jenners are now trying to get the case dismissed. The family's attorney, Michael G. Rhodes, said, quote, before trial began, these claims were absurd because there was no documentary evidence, economic analysis, or expert testimony that would support them. China's unsupported and wildly speculative claims for damages must not be allowed to go to the jury. Now, China's mom, Tokyo Tony, who's been kicked out of court for things that she said about the Kardashians on social media, is now tearfully condemning mothers who pimp out their kids. Take a look. And I'm going to say something to somebody. You stick it to wherever the f anybody want to put it. A real mother don't pimp her f kids. A real mother don't use her children and grandchildren for profit. A real mother stands up and do what's right, whether they wrong or not. They still stand up and they do what's right. I pray to God and I'm going to pray today that this one particular person meet what they got coming to them in any kind of way because the Lord don't pray. You cannot be of the devil and think you're going to keep f***ing with God's kids. It's not going to happen. To be extracted. Were those inside tears? Because I didn't see any tears drop. I mean, I was looking. Not, not that I want to see her in pain, but I can never get New York's face out of my head when she was on that show with Claudia Jordan. The first 15 or the last 15 minutes of your career. I don't know what it was called, but either way, she said, are those inside tears? She said it was an inner cry. It was the funniest moment on reality <laughs> TV. So Tokyo, I don't, I didn't see any tears drop, but you know, I hope that you you're emotionally okay. You know, but she raises a good point, right? Like Chris Jenner on one hand has been called a pimp and, and Kanye on the show and on social media has talked about not wanting his kids to be wearing makeup and doing things on social media that 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 are far away from his values. I mean, the man has, you know, a, an idea of what he wants his kids to be and become and how he wants them to be portrayed uh, and how he wants people to see them on social media. And I think that's great. Um, I think that one thing that um, Chris has led with just conceptually is that her family's kid, her kids weren't going to be a one trick pony. So she turned them all into tricks and she's figured out how to make those tricks for the kids pay out in cash. So on one hand, you could say she's a pimp, but on the other hand, you could say that she's a legacy builder and a brand builder and she's somebody that takes a lemon and turns it into a lemonade tree. So I don't know. It's, I guess it's a matter of pro a proximity of perception. I've always said I admire Chris's hustle and the fact that she's been able to take problems or situations that were thrown at her family and flip it into an empire. So you can't hate their business acumen, but does does uh, Tokyo Tony have a point to you that she doesn't understand how a woman would pimp out their children and their grandchildren? Some things can go too far. I, I do respect Kris Jenner's uh, work ethic. I respect the Kardashians and what they have done, what they built, but they do have this power structure. They have this control over the media. And sometimes you're gonna meet your match. And I feel like your match, could be an unlikely opponent like Black China. Now, I was just being funny. I don't think it's okay to have domestic violence in any suit. Black China shouldn't be attacking anybody. I don't think Black China's perfect. I don't think the Kardashians are perfect. But if you're trying to silence somebody, if you're trying to stop their bag, you got to know who you're dealing with. You got to know who know where the skeletons are buried. And Black China was a friend. She infiltrated the family and she's doing what she's doing. And even if she doesn't win, she went at the Kardashians head first. She's not afraid. She's standing for what she believes in. And that's brave. Honestly, that's a really brave um, thing she's doing. When it comes to Chris pimping out the kids, it's subjective. You know, we work. This is 2022. We all work in this industry. Those the children of Chris Jenner don't seem to be complaining at all about the rewards they have reaped. You know, they got billionaire daughters. I don't know either way. I think it's it's all on how you want to look at it, but they seem to be happy and successful. So I got to champion that. Um, in your opinion, does it seem like the Kardashians, all they wanted was black babies and to just be so ingrained in black culture that with the bronze and the butts <laughs> and the black kids, we forget that they're not black women? I, I, I never forgot that. You think people forget that? I ain't forget at all. But I, I, you don't see these girls running around here with this brown ass skin. Like, first of all, 
even if you lay on the beach for hours, your skin don't turn brown. They got bronzer where these hoes is going and laying up against white walls and getting spray tanned. Like they're not even orange anymore. Damage, they're brown. Like there's influencers who are pushing and promoting brands as an urban influencer, and they are straight up white women. Like it's 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 getting sick at this point. It, it's been sick, but you know I don't knock the hustle. You know I see what it is. Do I like all of it? Hell no. But then again, like you said, I see people like Black China who's going up against that. And like I said, I don't think Black China's perfect at all, but she can fight for what's right, what's rightfully hers. And hopefully she wins if she's telling the truth and everything that's going on with her case as far as her show. But this has always been a sticky situation looking at this back and forth. Very entertaining, though. Thank you, Tokyo Tony.